do I do it? Okay, so this is attempt like number three for me to get this video done. I um my I kept running out of space on my phone, which hasn't happened in forever. Anyway, I'm coming at you with a review on the Celea MM and the Demi Bean Print. I had stocked this bag several times. I was I was contemplating on getting the GM, and there's not a lot of reviews on either size. But what I did notice about the GM that kind of sealed the deal was that it just seemed like even empty with it being so much canvas, like when you have it setting down, it would start to like do this like really bad. And I don't know, I was just worried that I wouldn't have enough stuff to fill it out and wouldn't do that. So I don't know. Hopefully I made the right choice. Uh, this bag just right off the top is very similar to the uh, Bellevue GM in the Vernie print. There is a review on that bag on my channel. Um, I'm not going to go over all the measurements because again, I've already got cut off on my video enough. And then um, it's also similar to the bag that I have been using, which is the All In PM. Very similar in size. This one's a little bit, not that much taller. It's actually like an inch taller. I know it looks more, but I do have a review on this bag by itself on my channel. So you can go check those out and just note all the measurements and then you'll see what I'm saying. Um, I think the biggest difference on this bag compared to a lot of the other bags I have is it does have a bit of a structured base, which I'm not used to, but because the bag is several years old, it's not super stiff, okay? I mean, like, it's it's fine. But just real quick, the measurements. So it's 12 inches on the bottom, and I just measured the, the structured piece. That's all I measured. I didn't do her hips or anything. I didn't do, like, a measurement at the widest point like I normally do. I just did the bottom 12, top from end to end, and it does open a full you know, uh, length, it's 17 inches, and it, it is a full 17 inch, you know, opening, and then it is 11 inches tall, and then it's seven inches deep, which is very similar to a Speedy as far as the depth, and then the handle drop is seven inches, yeah, seven inches as well, so it doesn't pass the elbow test, but it does, you are able to get it up onto your shoulder easily, or at least I am, you know, when it comes down to it, it's going to depend on your body size, and the size of your arms, and all that kind of stuff, but for me, I don't have any issue, just like, you know, getting it up here and it's not riding at my armpit and annoying me. So it's, it's fine. But uh, it does have the rolled handles, as you can see. There's nothing like super fancy about it. There's no feet. It's just, you know, nothing. Um, or I was going to say the GM actually has an outside zipper pocket, which I do wish that this one had as well. But it was okay that, you know, it doesn't because it does have the interior um, cell phone pocket and then other slip pocket over here. So it's the red Alcantara. Really nice lining. It has, like I said, the old cell phone pocket right here. And then the other slip pocket, which would fit my phone. I have a 10 iPhone XR, and it will fit that with the case. But my, my case isn't super bonky. It's just, you know, it's kind of normal. And then it does have a D-ring over here on the side. Um, What else I can tell you? Oh, the hardware. I love the hardware on it because it's like, it's the rounded hardware. So it's got like the bubbly rivets, the rounded rings that attach the handles, um, it does have this particular zipper pull. I'm not necessarily a fan of this zipper pull, but it's okay. I mean, it's just like not my favorite. Like the, the my favorites are like the ones on my uh, Mick MM. I love those. And anyway, but it's fine. And then of course it has the leather tabs on either side. They're not curled up. Um, I was going to tell you another thing about the hardware. Um, what was I going to tell you? It must've been a lie. Um, well, anyway, crap. What was I going to tell you? I was going to mention something. Okay, so no feet. No pocket on the outside, does have pockets on the inside. The hardware is nice and chubby and um, okay, well, I don't know. Anyway, okay, so I was just gonna put really quick in, in my bag what I normally carry. This is gonna go into my fall bag rotation. I'm not gonna use it during the summer. I just don't, for me, I just don't feel like it's a summer bag, but you know what, you do you, okay? If you wanna carry this, this thing all year round, carry it all year round, mama don't care, okay? But for me, I was wanting something to put into my fall rotation which I'll just say, you know, I can just go ahead and say August. <laughs> uh, or how about when school starts rotation? There you go. So basically I have like another month of carrying my monogram for me. And then I'll get that. I, I was actually going to get a Demi Azur bag because I don't have a Demi Azur bag at all. And I was looking at a Noe GM because I love that bag. But I decided against it and decided to go ahead and get the tote just because, um, I don't know, you know, it just depends on my mood. So let me just ship this down so you can watch me put all this stuff in. Um... I haven't done a video since before COVID and it's because I've been doing live sales on Monday nights and um, I will put the description or in the description box, I'll put all the links to all that information. You can also go to that crazy handbag Facebook page and you'll find out about it. But basically I do live sales every Monday night and I would love for you to join me. And um, so that's why I haven't been doing as many review videos. I wish I could because I have so many bags that come through that I would love to review, but I just don't have the time. 
but I would like for you to join the sales. So just make sure you go to that page and check it out. And then also um, my texting VIP group. Text the word LUX, L-U-X, to 31996, and that way you can stay on top of everything. Okay, so here we go. So I do have my Zippy organizer. Uh, I am going to switch this out to a regular Zippy wallet in the Vernie Amarante color because I feel like that color coordinates well with the Damier Bean print. But for now, until I get it, I'm just using that. I use my accessory pochette. I use that in every bag. I love it. This is like my ride or die bag right here. I just love this bag. And I have been using this little Truce 18 to, you know, it's kind of like my backup. Well, not my backup, but I usually have two bags that have all my essentials. And the, the accessory pochette is one and this one's the other. If I'm not using this bag, if I, need to, if I need more room, then I take stuff out of this one and I put it in the little, I reorganize and use the little envelope pouch that you've seen in my other videos. It's a really slender pouch that just, you know, it just um, saves room in the bag. And then I have my little glasses case for my readers. And I've been carrying this around because now mom can't see. So now I use this. And then I do have my handy dandy notebook. And I can just throw this in that side pocket or whatever. My little pen case. Uh, this is a handmade item. And if you're interested in this, you can also get more information about it um, in my page or on my page, my Facebook page. And then, of course, I have my little mask. <laughs> Um, oh, but it's super cute though. So if you're interested in how to get one of these bad boys, also go to my page and you can get more info about that. But anyway, so I do have my little, my little mask here that I have to carry around now. I don't think those are going away anytime soon. And that's really all I have that I'm carrying right now. So everything fits just fine. Oops. Uh, in the, I mean, everything is side by side and I could fit more, you know, like this is over on the side. My pen case is over on the side. I have room, you know, like I could fit a water bottle over here and I would have plenty of room. But let me just kind of show you um, how it fits. So this is kind of how it looks from the front. And again, I'm 5'6", okay? And I am wearing stripes that make me look even, even wider in the video, but you know, whatever, it matched my shorts. And so, um, plus I like the arm. I like, I like this kind of cut for my arms. I don't like to show my arms. And so this is how it looks like this, super cute. And again, if you just want to carry it like that, here, let me step on this stool. Sorry, I'm rushing. My other videos got cut off. So you can also carry it like this, um, you know, of course, and then you can just carry it, arm carry like that. Now I do have my winter coat down here. It's a puffy coat and I wanted to put it on and show you how this fits over the shoulder line. So again, it's Eddie Bauer's puffy coat and Oh gosh, it's super hot. Okay, I'm not going to zip it up. But anyway, you can see, again, that it's pretty bulky coat. And so I just wanted to show you like it fits. Put this. Okay. Let's see. You don't have any trouble with it like that. And then also, if I want to put it up over my shoulder, I don't have any problem doing that either. Okay. And it'll stay. I mean, they're rolled, they're rolled handles. And so obviously... They can be kind of, you know, kind of ornery and go like this and whatever. You know how it is, y'all. It's just, you know, bag problems. There's, I don't think there's a, like a magical bag that'll just sit up here forever and not ever slide off. It depends on your shoulders. And mine tend to be kind of bony. And so I do end up getting some fall off no matter what the bag is. But, um, and, but I usually hold it like this. I'm usually holding the bag like this, um, you know, so I don't have to worry about it. And then I can do that. So anyway, let me take this coat off before I daggum fall over in this video and everybody will like watch me pass out that would be bad but anyway yeah so this is the Celaya MM and again it's similar to a couple of other bags that I do have review reviews of a view 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 can't freaking talk I'm trying to rush that I have on my channel and so the Bellevue GM and the Vernie there's one and then also the all in PM I think I have a review on both sides is the PM and the MM I mean not not all the size because there's a GM. I don't have that one. That one's a monster. But anyway, this is what I've been carrying right now. And I'll probably carry it for, you know, the rest of this month. And then I would say mid-August, I'm probably going to switch over to this one just because I'm excited. I do like the fact that it has like enough structure that it's not going to sag. Although I will tell you, sagging is not that big of a deal for me. I don't, I don't, I mean, <laughs> I'm 46, so clearly I don't have a problem with sagging. But anyway, it doesn't bother me. Um, but yeah, so again, just going back to what I said earlier, I do live sales. 
um, every Monday night. They're pretty late. It's like 9.30 p.m. Eastern time. And I do post about it on my Instagram, That Crazy Handbag Lady, uh, my group, That Crazy Handbag Lady. Actually, that's my, my page. And then I also have a group for the love, L-V-O-E. So make sure that you are connected on all those groups. And also make sure that you have your notifications turned on so you can be aware of what's going on and then my texting group. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this and I'll be talking to you real soon. Okay, bye!